Hi, in this tutorial we'll see how we can make a slider or ranger component using React Ranger. Hi, so basically in this tutorial we'll try to make the React uh, slider or a ranger in React using this library React Ranger by Tanstack. And basically we'll try to uh, create recreate this thing which is uh, shown as an example here. So let's get into it. So I have a uh, empty component right now, which I'm uh, rendering. So basically, the thing we need for um, making the slider or the ranger is the use ranger hook from React Ranger. So first of all, you will need to install it using npm or yarn. Then you can import it. So this gives us a lot of things which we would use to basically render stuff. So this expects an object with obviously some things uh, like it expects values so values would be the array of handles so what is handles I'll show you in a bit I can tell you right now basically um, so the terminology used by React Ranger for this is that these handles uh, these circles which we can move along the slider or the ranger these are called handles and then the background on which these uh, slide uh, these handles are moving are basically is basically called the track so this background this bar is known as the track and these circles are known as the handles and uh, the, or the distance or the segment between the start and the handle and then the distance between the handles and the distance between the handles and the end these are known as segments so basically we can see in this case because there are three handles we can see that there are one two three four segments if you skip this then you can say that there is one segment there is two segments and there are three segments and then these things at the bottom are known as ticks if you are familiar with charts you know if you work with charts or any charting library you would know what a tick is so these are known as ticks so these terminologies are important for you know what we're about to do now so values is the prop which we would pass which would basically take the value at which the rain uh, at which the handle is so right now i can pass in a dummy value and then you will see what i mean and then here i have to pass the min value so i can pass a min value of one then i can pass a max value of 100 and then i have to pass a step size so i can say five so step size is basically uh, when i would move the ranger uh, when I would move the handle uh, at what step should it move should it you know when I'm moving it should it move after every number or it should jump to you know by increments of 5 or it should jump by increments of 10 whatever so that would be the step size In this case I've set step size 5 so that is what we would do but you know let's do a step size of 1 so it uh, returns a couple of things which we would use to make our uh, ranger or slider so basically the first thing is get track props so we would create an empty div and then basically spread these props here um yep let me see what is the issue yeah let me spread it i forgot yeah so this basically gives us a track bar right now you cannot see it because um, there are no styles applied to it you have to apply styles manually so you pass in a uh, object and then pass in a style property and then here you have to pass in the styles for the uh, track or basically the background bar you have on which the handles move so i can say right now that i want a height of 24 i want a border radius of uh, 12 and i want a background of 20A4F3 20A4F3 so now you can see a bar um, no, but it doesn't do anything because there are, no, there are no handles so for the handles we get returned a handles thing as well and we have to map these handles so whatever I do now like the mapping of ticks and mapping of segments or mapping of handles we have to do it inside this div so I will do handles dot map and then basically these handles uh, have 
handles is an array and this handle has two things uh, it has a value so you know the current value of the handle and then it has a get handle props so you can see that um, what use ranger is returning is are is basically props for the ranger not actually the react component itself because it's a hook it won't it won't be able to return you know actual html it's basically returning objects which contain props for styling and for dragging and stuff like that and you know we can basically style it ourselves pass it to any div etc so now i can you know return a div and then i will basically spread it as well get handle props now i will pass in the value here cool and now no i have to use the value actually yeah so now we know that the current value is 10 so you can see it and now you can see that i am able to move it when but when i drop it then it goes back to 10 why because now as of right now i'm statically i'm passing a static value for the values so i should use states so i will say const values set values so that you know whenever i drop the handle it should stay uh, so i can say 10 it should basically update the uh, handle position and here i would say on change and pass the set values and here i would pass the values cool so now when i drop it you can see that it gets dropped and basically the ranger is working but it looks ugly as before you saw that the track had no styles so in this case as well we have to pass custom styles here in order for the handle to have some personality so let me pass these styles so i will have a it will have a width of 36 and a height a height of 36 i want to give it a border radius of 50 percent so that it looks like a circle i want to give it a background of a pinkish color of an of the example basically which we saw here so um, a pink color i found was e63462 and then i will give it a cursor of pointer which for some reason they haven't given by default and then i will basically uh, display flex and align atoms and justify content center so that the value which we are showing on the handle is centered so uh, justify content center and then a color of white so now if i go back you can see that the handle looks pretty cool and you know i can move it around um, now you saw previously that the values i'm passing here accepts an array why because i mean right now there is only one handle so why is there need of an array because we can pass multiple values here and then we can have multiple uh, handles so right now i can pass initial values for two handles and now i have two handles so basically i can move the two handles around so if you know if i want three handles then i will pass in a third value here as well third initial value for the state it's cool so now i have two handles now um i would want to map the um ticks as well so for ticks i can get ticks from here and i will map the ticks here so i can say ticks dot map same as in the case of handles and get track props we get uh, the props for tick so i can say value and i will return some div here i would um, spread the tick props and i will show the value here no <sighs> value you can see it here but it looks ugly again because the default styles are not good so first of all uh, the width for the text is for some reason uh, by default zero so we will you know edit that and edit, add some custom styles as well 
so right now you can see that it's um, if let me first give it a width of auto yeah so now the width is basically based on the content but the ticks are showing on top of the bar but I don't want that so I can give it a top of 36 so basically they are rendered somewhat below and then let me give a the color of gray so that they are not popping that much and then give me let me give a font size of 14 so yeah now they look pretty good uh, so basically text tips and the current position you know you can see that now you know this is the 30th uh, number position this is the 40 50 100 etc and these ticks basically depend upon the tick size so i have a tick size prop as well so i can say um five and now ticks would come after a gap of five so zero five ten fifteen there is a five number difference between the ticks i can do one as well but it would look weird um you know i can say 20 as well now the ticks are after 20. um so i think 10 is by default is good also um, I can pass an array in place of step size and tick size as well. So right now I have only one number So I can move the handle around and you can see that I can move the handle around in increments of one If I say, you know change the step size to 10 Then you can see that I can only move around The handle in increments of 10. I can drop it, you know at let's say 45 or 44 I can only move it in increments of 10 so that was the step size but i can also pass an array of step sizes and tick sizes and you will see how that works so for that i will have to use a step prop and here i can pass custom steps so uh, let me show you how custom steps work so i can let's say say 10 30 20 right um yeah steps sorry so i go here now and you can see here that uh, yeah the text basically when you use an array uh, when you use basically steps where basically you are passing an array of steps then the text size doesn't matter you have to pass a uh, text then an array of text as well which we'll see in a bit but you know you can skip it for now so steps so now i can go uh, to the start i can go to 10 then I can go to 20, then I can go to 30, and then I can go to 100. So basically, I can only go to these steps and I cannot go in between. So let me just remove this 21 so that's more clear. So because the steps are 10, 30, 20, I can go to the start, I can go to the 10 one, I can go to 20, I can go to 30, but then after 30, I have not specified any number. <coughs> So I will then straight go to the end. I cannot uh, drag the handle to a number between 30 and 100. <coughs> so this is custom steps. So basically if you want to make some custom steps and you don't want to, you know, maybe there is a segment on which you don't want the handle to land, then you can use custom steps. So right now you saw that based on the custom steps, the text got rendered as, uh, you know, based on the steps. But if you want to pass custom text as well, for those custom steps, you can do that. So I can do 20, 30, 40, 100, something. And now you can see that 10, 20, 30, 40, 100. So only those sticks are being rendered, not others. So th that is what these do. But we will remove it. Yeah, cool. And let me bring in the other handle as well. Cool. So now <coughs> the only thing remaining is um, rendering the segments as you can see the segments between the handles and between the start and uh, uh, end. So for that we get handles. Now we get segments from here. So let's render the segments as well. As always we would get some props which we would spread in an div so let me do that um get 
get segment props cool um i can do that <coughs> now that is cool but uh, for each segment we want to pass a um different background color and you know some other stuff so right now there is no height for the uh, background as well for the segment as well so let me pass some custom styles so i can say height is 14 cool no not 14 what is the height of uh, the track 24 so i will take a height of 24 but now you know you cannot see it i can give it a random color for now um, background red let's say and now you can see that you know the segments uh, all of the segments are red but we don't want that so basically i would create an array of colors and then basically i would use the index here to show the particular color so let me make the array so const colors is equal to so the first color is 3 e 8 a f f then the second color is 0 0 d 5 c 0 and the third color is f 5 c 200 f 5 c 200 and now basically i can based on the index show the segment so right now there are three segments you can see uh, one segment from the start to this handle then one segment between the two handles and the other segment between this handle and the end so let me say colors index cool so now the segments have rendered they have different colors when i move the handles basically you know the seg this segment uh, got bigger and this uh, segment shrunk so that is pretty cool um i also want to give a border radius of 12 so that you know the track gets back its round shape so yeah this this is it um we have successfully made a, a slider or ranger using rack ranger and we basically saw how we can use the use ranger hook to make that so basically it returns get track props so basically we have to spread it um on a div to make the uh, basically the upper component for all the other stuff that would follow inside it like handles tracks handle sticks and segments and all these uh, ticks track handle segments uh, have this props function which we can spread on any div and then we have to pass some custom styles in order to you know use it based on our application or color scheme and values accepts values and array of values for the handles so if i pass in multiple values then it would render multiple values multiple ha ha handles and then we have a non chain function min max for the rangers so right now 0 and 100 so it is displaying 0 and 100 then i can have a step size i can have custom steps uh, using the steps prop then i have a text size i can also pass a custom array of text using the text prop and then you know we basically saw how we can render handles and segments and other stuff so if you like the tutorial uh, you can like and comment down below and subscribe the channel if you have any questions you can also comment down below as always like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye